Hello, what is up guys? Today we are on part two of our business calculations practice test. If you haven't watched part one, I recommend that you first take a look at that. Um, yeah, and we're gonna get into the test. Uh, so first pause the video and try out the problem. We're on problem three. Okay, now I'm gonna assume that you've had time to try out the problem. Now I'll go about solving it. Front house had a mortgage loan in the amount of $87,750. He financed the house for 30 years and had a monthly payment of $725. At the end of 30 years, what will be the total amount of interest paid on the house? So this is a very similar way to how you would calculate finance charge, because technically it is finance charge, right? What's the additional money, the cost to borrow money, the interest that you're paying? Um, so what you would do is you'd calculate the total payment, the total payment, should have used a different color for this, and then you would subtract it by the actual cost of the house. So in this case, the cost is $87,750. So it's minus the cost. I'm just going to write cost. So to calculate total payment, we can do 725. Now they're 12 months per year, right? So times 12. And then we would have to do all of this times, actually, let me put in brackets. You don't need to put it in brackets because multiplication is commutative, meaning the order doesn't matter, times 30. Uh, and if I take out my calculator, 725 times 12 is 8,700, which now times 30 is 261,000. So our total payment is 261,000. And the cost is 87,750. So I subtract 87,750. And I'm left with 173,000. $250. And that is option B. Now on to question four. Stephen Dublin invests $1 million in a 45-day certificate of deposit with a 6.55% interest. What is the total interest income from the investment? So this is the yearly interest. This is the annual interest. Annual interest. And it is important to note that a banker's year a banker's year is 360 days, so not 365 days, okay? That's an easy mistake to make. So if it's 1 million, so in a full year, if it was 6.55% interest, he would have, his interest would be $65,500 over the course of one year. But now if it's just 45 days, to calculate our 45 day cost, we would have to do 45 over 360, and we would have to multiply 65,000 by that. Because remember, we're only taking a percent of that total interest. So if I do this on my calculator, um, 65,500 times by 45 over 360, that is equal to 8,187, 8,187, five dollars and that is option a now on to i think the last question for the day lucas uh last question for the video at least lucas brothers hardware sells faucet sets for 74.99 including installation they hire subcontractors to install the faucets okay wait we should probably underline including installation the subcontractors receive 22 dollars per faucet installed other overhead costs Total seven dollars and fifty six per faucet. Uh, if Lucas Brothers pays thirty two point fifty five dollars per faucet, what is the company's net profit? So I'm just going to do a bit of rounding just to make this simpler. So um, there, the cost to have one of these installed is seventy five dollars, but now we have to subtract all of the costs. So actually, you know what? Let me do some color coding here. I'll just put all of the costs in blue. So we just have to subtract $22,756 and $32.55. So 22, oh, what's going on here? Uh, okay, 20, $22. And we also have to pay $7.56. And we also have to pay $32.55. So all of these costs added together equal to 22 plus 7.56 plus 32.55 is 62.11 and now if we do 75 minus 62.11 62.11 we have 62.11 12.89 dollars